Hi, today I'm going to talk about protecting your resin printer by applying some Captain tape around the LCD. And I'm going to test water washable resin. Hi, welcome to Gray Lightning, my video blog about making things and playing games. And I have a friend who also owns a resin printer, and he gave me a great tip about how to protect my investment which is applying Captain tape around the edges of the LCD screen so that if you get a leak in your FEP film and it runs out, it doesn't run down into the printer and destroy the LCD screen or other components in the printer. So this is a quick, easy upgrade, and I'll show you as I do it on mine. And then um, when I put the vat back on, I refilled it with this water washable resin from Elegoo Mars. And this is the... Uh, the blue translucent resin and it does an amazing job. This cleaned up with water in 30 seconds. Um, no alcohol, no cleaner of any kind and uh, it did a great job printing. So I'll show you that in this episode. The first thing I had to do was empty the resin vat and I started by stirring gently the resin that was in the vat at the time so that it would be well mixed. I'm going to reclaim the resin that I haven't used by using one of the paper filters supplied by Creality when I got my printer. I put it in a funnel and then I pour the gray resin that is in the vat through the funnel. Now this is a traditional resin that has to be cleaned up with alcohol so I'm using alcohol to clean the vat so there's no sign left of the gray resin I've been using. While the vat is off, I have an opportunity to upgrade my printer. So one of the suggestions I've gotten is to use Captain Tape, K-A-P-T-O-N, Captain Tape, this kind of tape here, to seal the edges of the LCD so that if you get a resin leak, it doesn't go down inside, destroy the LCD, and maybe even other parts of your printer. So I looked online to see videos of people doing this. I really couldn't find it. I only found videos of people using wide versions of Captain Tape to cover the build plate of an FDM printer for better adhesion. But I only found one that talked about this uh, particular upgrade and he didn't actually show how he did it. He just showed that it was done. So you're gonna get to watch me try to apply this. Now I bought this box on Amazon and it has four different sizes in it and I think this is the size I'm going to use because it looks like the best fit in here and obviously you don't want to cover you want to cover the edge the crack but you don't want to cover any part of the screen that's actually doing the UV curing for your resin printer so that you can see a black border inside the edge that shows you where the actual um, UV part of it is. So I need to cover these edges without running over the black border. And I need to minimize um, any kind of thickness. The reason why Captain Tape is good is because it's exceptionally thin. It's also heat resistant. Um, supposedly if I put this on it's not going to affect my ability to get my first layers to adhere. Um, so we'll see. Okay, this is extremely thin, as promised, and easily tangled. So I'm sure it's not going to be a lot of fun to work with. So let's see how I did. Good. That layer is good. I think I'm going to do the other straight away on this side. Okay. That looks good. Okay, now, 
I'll measure how much I think I need and cut it for these sides. Okay, here's a tip. Don't lose the end because it's, it's hard to find. It's so thin. And that is lined up well also. So everything's inside this frame. Uh, so it shouldn't interfere with the ability for the build plate to go into this space. And everything is flat, no wrinkles, and no overlap with the center. Now we get to test it. So first of all, I had a successful print, so the Captain Tape did not interfere with my ability to print this. This is really an amazing thing here, this old translucent shell. And this is supposedly water soluble so water wash up sorry so I'm gonna dip it in there and I got it released It says to clean it at least for 30 seconds. I'm going to see how far I can get just doing this. But I do have my AnyCubic wash and cure machine over here that I could have water set up in. So I can, you know, if this really cleans up with just water, it's going to be a game changer for me anyway. This is so much better, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, let's start with the build plate. This brush came in it, so I think I might need to might need to be brushing with this. But first I'm just going to try to remove the supports. I'm using the support settings that I arrived at based on my last video. So they're pretty light. Just breaking them off here. This is where you wear some form of eye protection. I've got my glasses on. Of course, I'm still going to need to cure this. Because it's a shell, it really, I think it actually pulled some resin out with it maybe a little.
Oh, it's really amazing. Um, okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to... I don't think I need to wash this any more. I think I can go straight to the curing step. I'll leave that in there for a second. Here it is in my curing machine. I put it on six minutes and then I rolled it a little bit and ran it for another two minutes and that seemed to be plenty. I still need to do a little bit more cleanup on the supports but in general I'm really thrilled with the results. If all the other colors of water washable resin work this well I will never use anything else. This makes the whole resin printing process so much easier. If you want to follow me as I continue on my 3D printing journey, please subscribe to my channel.